Everybody's got an idea. Listen to me. Uh, innovation, is, uh, uh, innovation is rewarded, right? We reward people for coming up with great ideas. We do, right? But execution is worship. Write that down. Ex we must teach our staff. In the real world, you, you don't get credit for effort. You get credit for execution. Right? And we live in a different country now. We live in a different world where, you know, the, the kids are going to cry, so everybody gets a certificate. Like, everybody win the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? If you're a kid, everybody win the Super Bowl. Right? Doesn't matter how hard you work. It doesn't matter. Everybody gets a participation, a participation award. Right? But in our world, in business, execution is worship. So three things I want us to look at. An inch of movement will bring you closer to your goal than a mile of intention. We have to teach them. It's not, we didn't get where we are with intention. We didn't, we didn't got, we, we got here with movement. Move. So small steps, great distances. Small steps, great distances, not great intentions. I meant to. I was about to. I, I, I called my son the other day. I said, did you get your flight to uh, Chicago? He said, Dad, it was late, you know, and I knew it was late. I said, late? I thought Delta was 24 hours. I didn't know they had a time frame. He's like, uh, well, Dad, uh, uh, I, I meant to. I was doing other stuff. I said, I told you about this three weeks ago. Don't you understand that the price of a ticket seven days before is different than a ticket 21 days before? Like, I'm not interested in intentionality, son. Like, get the ticket. We, we have work to do. You got to show up. So we must teach them that effort is good. Absolutely. Having intention is great. But if that intention doesn't turn into inches, then it's not... Again, if that intention never turns to inches, if it doesn't turn to movement, it's no good for any of us. We can't pay our bills. We can't pay the light bill. We can't pay our mortgage. We can't put our kids through school with intention. Movement, right? Number two, the difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do today, right? We got to teach them that. Like everything tomorrow, I'll get to it tomorrow or I'll get to it the next day. Who told you you had to tomorrow? Who told you that? Like, come on, come on, like, we, now, now, no opportunity wasted, now, no opportunity wasted, now, no opportunity wasted. Who, you, uh, how arrogant are you to think that if you don't do it right now, do it when you have the opportunity, that you're going to have the same opportunity a week from now? How arrogant, how arrogant of you to think that if you don't get it done today, that that same opportunity is going to present itself six weeks later? How arrogant of you? You have, been, you have been given the opportunity today. You have the time today. You have the resources today. You are intelligent enough. You are smart enough. I hired you because you're brilliant. I hired you because you're capable. I need you to do it now. No opportunity wasted. Went to Michigan State University. I worked at Michigan State University. I only have a PhD because I worked at Michigan State University. Let me explain what I mean by that. Now, no opportunity wasted. So they brought me there to get my master's degree on a fellowship. I started working for the university, and, and I found out that if you work for the university, they will pay for you to get a degree. So they, they will pay for me to get a PhD. Watch this. Not only will they pay for me to get a PhD, I don't have to go to work if I have class. I'm like, this is okay. They're giving away degrees. You're going to pay for me to get a degree, and I get to go to work? I'm like, I can skip work and go to class? Like, this is unbelievable. Do you know that there are people that have been working at Michigan State 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and they pass these halls and these professors every day, and they never went and got their PhD? I told you the university paid for it. I told you they let me take off work to go get it. Why? Because they want their staff members to be PhDs. They want us to have doctorate degrees. I didn't waste that opportunity. And do you understand that getting a doctorate degree took me from one zero to the next in speaking? It got me a publishing deal. I'm right now a professor at a major university online. No opportunity wasted. There are people that have been there 20 years, 30 years, and came with one degree, and they never got. We must teach them that whatever opportunity. All right, I want to I I make it plain. Here's, a, here's what I do with my, uh, uh, some of my high school athletes, right? So we have a session, right? And I'll, I'll take out about two or $300, ones, fives, tens, and I'll, and I'll call one guy up, and I'll say, all right, here's money. Uh, you have uh, 60 seconds to get as much money as you want. Right, guys, guess how much money he took? He took all of it. But then I say the same thing. I put books around and say, I pick a book. And guess what? He'll pick one or two books. Come on. He'll pick one or two books. I'm like, look, you grabbed all the money. Grab all the knowledge. And so we must teach them 
Don't just grab all of the money. No opportunity wasted. Every opportunity you have, school, reading, a conference, uh, uh, whatever it is, and a, 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 perfect, a personal development, uh, uh, assessment, whatever, sitting down with your grandma, sitting under the feet of your uncle, every opportunity you have to learn, go get it. And that's what I love about this country is opportunities. I'm a high school dropout, multimillionaire. I'm a high school dropout. You, my grandma called me, baby, was that you on that chicken commercial? I was like, yes, grandma, that was Wingstop. That was me. My aunt called, was that you on the guaranteed rate commercial? Yes, that was. I thought you was a public speaker. I'm everything, grandma. I live in America. <laughs> I live in America, grandma. You, you could be on TV, grandma, and you could write a book, and you could be a number one. Spe you were just in California then, son. Grandson, you was in uh, Vegas. Then I heard you were in Mexico. Now you in Chicago. You all over the world, son. Yes, grandma, when you live in America, it's, it's, it's called opportunity, and I want to take each one. And we must teach those that work with us, those that we lead, that there is opportunity all around them. And if they're willing to work hard and not make any excuses, they could be whatever they want to be and do whatever they want to do. Average people have great ideas. Legends have great execution. You don't know Eric Thomas because I had great ideas. You know Eric Thomas because I, I execute. I get it done. 